Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Blue Phoenix, my pronouns are they, them. I make fun planty videos from my found knowledge and then I share with you all um, a plant vlog of, my, of what I do behind the scenes of my home-based plant shop, Blue Lotus Gardens. So I'll show you all what I like, my unboxings and also how plants, how I make plants for the store and all that good stuff. If you like content like that, I recommend you subscribing to my channel and then also hitting that like button and leaving a nice little comment down below and I'll get back to you when, after, when I can. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Nepenthes pitcher plant, how to care for it, um, what's uh, what substrate to use, how to water it, sliding techniques, and all that good stuff. And then you can also go on to our plant vlog um, where we feature plant vlogs on Tuesdays, elaborating a little bit more on, on our um, Plant Care Tuesday videos. So that way you all have like a plant care guide also um, that you can download. There's more downloadable content and just a fun little uh, things that we provide for you all. So that way there's just extra little resources for you all. All of this is from uh, my found knowledge and then I also share with you all my resources and sources along with in the description down below. So that way if you all want to do your own little research and know where I got my research from, you're more than welcome to um, learn from it from there. Um, I enjoy learning from plants from everybody and just sharing all that knowledge with you all from my videos. All right, let's get on to the video. Before we get into the video, I just want to uh, mention that I have this nice new little sweatshirt. I have it on my blog um, with the links down below and also on the Cura page so that way you can check it out. Um, it really helps me support my channel and also my um, blog, keep it going and maybe provide another writer for the blog. You never know. So. Really thank you all so much for for uh, purchasing my merch. I want to sh just say that really quickly. Um, I have new designs and we'll share with you them soon. So stay tuned for that. First thing uh, you're gonna need uh, for your repotting and taking care of your Nepenthes. As you see here, I have this little one. I regrew it from a small pitcher plant. There's a little picture. I don't know what fell out. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it in here and I'm gonna repot it. And what you're gonna need to do when you're repotting it is uh, repot it with sphagnum moss and perlite. And I'm using Miracle Grows perlite, and then I'm also using it's called Better Grow Premium Grade Orchid Moss. So I got this from uh, Lowe's um, in their little moss section with all the orchids so that way you all know um, a long time ago and I just kind of keep it there and so um, until I need it. I, re I reuse my containers so I suggest you all do that as well. Make sure your containers are properly clean. I, as you see I reuse them, I still have a sticker on it. It is not a Colorama assortment, I don't know what that is. It must have been like a polka dot plant or something. <laughs> what you want to do is fill it up with some moss. Looks like I got a mouth. Half full with moss. Okay, now that you have it full um, with some sphagnum moss, you want to uh, fill it up with some perlite, doing a good handful amount. Make sure you're not breathing this in also. So what this is doing, it's creating a nice like airy mix for your, uh, your Nepenthes to grow in. And I'll show y'all when I'm done. Putting some more perlite in there. Hope you all have been enjoying my videos. I really appreciate it. Look at Marley. What do you hear, Marley? Oh, back to bed. Okay. 
So as you see here, it's pretty much like ready to be plotted into its new container. As you can see, this is how it looks. Where I could top it off and place a little support uh, stick for it. There we are. I'm just gonna tie it up um, onto the support system and water it, give it a nice, good, like, thorough watering, and just let it chill. Like, <laughs> it's so cool. So today, I wanna just talk to y'all real quick. So today I met like a really cool person from Nextdoor. Um, you can find me on Nextdoor. She was talking to me how to take care of uh, uh, peppers. So um, I was really like fascinated and I actually did a trade with her. So you'll see that in my vlog. You'll see the trades that I did and the repotting and everything um, and propagating. But she got me some good trades and I just, it's so cool like just meeting all these people that are like passionate as much as I am into all these plants and thank y'all. So just wanted to say that. But we're going to tie it up. I um, I like carnivorous plants. I think they're really fascinating. These are some that I'm not too familiar with. So it's nice to kind of like uh, learn more from other people that are familiar with it and I could learn and grow and share this knowledge with you all. Next we're going to repot this little sad one over here. Uh, I feel so bad for this one. It's in soil. You should actually never pot your nepenthes in soil just so you know. Um, it doesn't work for them. It's not good for them. They're not going to grow. A little weird spider on here. Oh my god. Get off. Garden friends, please stay in the garden. No, in the garden. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I had to go drop off a little garden friend back in the garden. So, sorry buddy, just not needed here. Not needed here right now. So here they are, all clean and everything and repotted. So as you see here, uh, these are um, pictures that you can cut off um, and you want to cut them off from right here. And then what that does, it will encourage new growth like this one up here and it'll just keep on putting out more new growth. So. You can even cut back this their leaves. Uh, that will help them produce new growth onto uh, the topper por portion of the plant. So if you want to cut it, you just cut right here. And there you go. Pictures last up to one to eight months. So that's a great uh, time reference for y'all. For y'all, that way you all know um, how long they last. And and pruning helps uh, push out new energy towards the new growth. So that way, um, it it has uh, new thriving growth. When you cut back a piece of the foliage, you want to cut it all the way to the very um, end over here. And what that does, it helps promote the new growth that's coming out from the, the picture itself, like this one. And here's how it looks. There's like new picture growth overall, so that's always a positive. What you're gonna do 
for your uh, to care for your Nepenthes to keep it in a very bright uh, area I recommend a grow light if you have one those are really like the best solution for them um, outside if you're gonna place it outside it's really risky but they grow in like really like shady filtered bright light areas so like if you have a really like heavy shady tree with very bright light that filters through they could go through they can grow around there but I wouldn't recommend it um, as you saw that pests will attract to it really quickly and I wouldn't do that so keep it inside um, it's something more for like an indoor use I, I personally believe unless you have like a, a, a greenhouse and keeping um, pest on top like pest control on top of it um, yeah, that's what I use as my pest control. That's where my tips are. If y'all enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, always leave a comment down below with any questions or how you like the video. Um, I always appreciate you all supporting my channel and also helping me grow my plant shop. That's amazing that you all have been able to do that and help me grow to this far. Um, and welcome all my new subscribers uh, to my channel. Thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. I wish you all an amazing day. Have, take care out there. Everyone, peace.